guys, it's Sienna from Dime a Dozen, and wow, long time no see, but next time that all three of us record a video together, basically what will probably be said is that we have been really inactive due to school and extracurricular activities such as cheer, drama, march band, etc., and um, all that stuff. So, yeah. But as you can tell, this is going to be a guitar tutorial, and as you can tell from the title and the thumbnail, it's Death of a Bachelor by Panic at the Disco. And there's no cable for this, so all standard tuning, make sure that your guitar is in tune. And if you need a tuner for the guitar, I will have like an overlay somewhere with the tuning app that I use. And it works really well, made by Musician, and this video is in no way sponsored by Musician. I just feel like being helpful I guess because it took me forever to find a tuner that I liked. So I'm going to start out by telling you the chords in order per like part of the song like verse, pre-chorus, chorus, and bridge. And I'll, I'll start with the verse and these chords are going to be in order and the first chord you're going to need is D minor. It sounds like this. Uh, that doesn't really sound too pretty so I'll try it again. There we go. And your first finger is on the first string, first fret. Second finger is on the third string, second fret. Third finger is on the second string, third fret. You want to make sure you have the first two strings, the E and the A, top E and A string muted. And it'll sound like this again. Next string you want is G. And your first finger is going to be on the fifth string, second fret. Um, second finger is going to be on the sixth string, third, third fret, and your third finger is going to be on the first string, third fret, and it'll sound like this. Or for those of you that play the G chord, um, three, third finger on the second string, third fret, and fourth finger on the first string, third fret, it'll sound like this. It doesn't sound too different, but it does make a slight difference. But for the strumming pattern that I have for the verse, it won't sound as pretty with it, but you do whatever you want. Um, and the final chord you'll need for the verses is C, and that's first finger on the second string, first fret, second finger on the fourth string, second fret, and third finger on the fifth string, third fret, and it sounds like, make sure you mute the top um, string, it's top E. And it'll sound like this. Again. There we go. And if you want, you can have C, the bottom E play, but I tend to mute it. It's usually an accident, but it still sounds good either way. And for the pre chorus, you're going to need F. And for this particular F, for the pre chorus, I use the bar chord. It's the easiest way to play it without um, having to fumble around. So if you can't bar, I'm sorry, I'm not really sure. I have an alternative that might work, but I'm not 100% sure because it's kind of awkward. But I will go ahead and show you the bar chord and you just bar the first fret, put your second finger on the third string second fret and your third and fourth finger on the fourth and fifth string of the third fret and it sounds like this. And again. And then after that, you'll need F minor, which is you just lift up that second finger. So now it sounds like this. And one more time. And then you'll need C, which I previously showed you. A minor, which is first finger on the second string, first fret. Third, second finger on the fourth string, second fret third finger on the third string, second fret, and it's, make sure you mute this top, top string. I keep forgetting the word string, and it sounds like this. And the next chord you're gonna need is D minor, which I previously showed you. And don't forget to mute these top two strings, and the chord after D minor is going to be D, which is first string, third, first finger, third string, second fret, second finger, first string, second fret, and third finger, um, second string, third fret. And again, mute the top two 
to the best of your capabilities, and it sounds like this. And then you'll need G. For the chorus, you'll need A minor, D, F, and for this F, you don't have to use the bar chord. You could just use first finger on the second, second string, first fret, second finger on the third string, second fret, third finger on the fifth string, third fret, and fourth finger on the fourth string, third fret. And um, mute this, you mute the top string, and I tend to mute the bottom E string, but some people like to let it ring, it's all up to you. And it sounds like this. And after that, you'll need C, which is a very easy transition. You just lift up, you just lift up your fourth string and bring your second string finger. I keep saying string finger up one string. As to quickly backtrack back to when I in the pre-course when I mentioned an alternative way to play um, F to F minor. Um, it's not like an official alternative way, it's just a way that I was messing around and I figured out that it sounded the same. So I taught you the F open F chord. So here's how it's here's how the F bar chord sounds. Here's the F open chord. And here's the F minor bar chord. And so for the F minor open chord, so say you're at F. Then you're going to move this top finger, you're going to move this your second finger to the um, same string, first fret, and it sounds the same as the bar chord, but it's a very awkward hand position. So to clarify, that's first finger on the second string, first fret, second finger on the third string, first fret, third finger on the fifth string, third fret, and fourth finger on the fourth string, third fret. And it doesn't sound as pretty, doesn't ring as well, in my opinion, and it's very awkward for the hand, but if that's the way you wanna play it, then play it that way. If that's easier for you, play it that way. So next I'm gonna show you some strumming patterns. You could just do single down strums. So it's like, do I look lonely? I see the shadows on my face. People have told me I don't look the same. Maybe I lost weight. I'm playing hooky with the best of the best. Put my heart on my chest so that you can see it too. I'm walking the long road, and so on and so forth. Um, you could do that for the whole song if that's what you would like, if that's easiest for you. Or you could do a finger picking pattern, which I think sounds the best with the verses. And I only tend to use it for the verses and the bridge. So you're on your D minor chord, and then you pluck the fourth string, and then you have your index, middle, and ring finger under the third, second, and first string, and then you just pull them up like that. So it's like, and then you mute it. So it's four, up, stop. And when you switch to the G chord, you will play the fifth string and keep your three fingers in the same position and just move your thumb up one, and then up, stop. So five, up, stop. And then you continue playing five, up, stop, four, C. And I tend to play it twice, but you could just play it once. Five, up, stop. So, do I look lonely? I see the shadows on my face. People have told me I don't look the same. And that would just be continue on throughout the verses. And when I say bridge, I mean the part of the song where it's like do 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 do. I play that, but I play it with the um, chorus with the chords that I use in the chorus, and we'll get there eventually. For the pre-chorus, I have um, sorry, I'm looking at the notes I wrote down. I have down, down, down. 
if you want to get a little fancy because I tend to mix all three finger picking the second finger the second strumming pattern and the third strumming pattern so again the one for that I use that I think is best for pre-course is down 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 so I'm walking the long road For the strumming pattern, when I um, I, when I get to G, I do down, 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 stop, down, 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 and I think that gives it a tad more flair and it matches the way the song is like progressing. But you could continue doing the down, down, down. down. So I'm walking the long road, watching the sky. I stop it immediate down 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 stop. And then you go on to the course, which is um I had down, up, down, up, down, up. And it may sound a little complicated, but it's not as complicated as it sounds because when I first heard it I was like, what? But it's rather simple. So down, up, down, up, down, up, switch. And that's basically all it is. It's not as hard as I thought it was. You may think it's easy. I don't know. But, so, it would go. It's a But I think the down, up, down, up, down, up is best for the verse. And the down, 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 up pre chorus and the finger picking. Four up mute, five up mute, five up mute for the um, bridge and the verses. So when I say bridge, I mentioned earlier that I'm talking about the um, part. That part. I just play the chords of the course and I do, uh, what do I do? I do four up stop, four up stop, five up stop, five up stop. So again, that's four up stop, four up stop, five up stop, five up stop. And I think that sounds good whenever I do the bridge. I don't know, I like it. You don't have to do it like that. You could just continue the down, up, down, up, down, up, or do whatever strumming pattern you want. So it would be. And that's basically the whole song. And that was my attempt at giving you guys a tutorial of Death of a Bachelor by Panic at the Disco on the acoustic guitar. And I hope you enjoyed it. And please leave comments down below for maybe things that could help me, help you, or song suggestions, or anything that you want. Just please be nice. <laughs> and I like, share, subscribe if you would like. And have a nice day. Bye.